I was dealing with a situation. My girlfriend left me at the time. I had no friends, nothing in, in LA. I broke everything in my house. I was very depressed. I was very alone. I was about to pack my bags and go straight to Arizona. Right there, I made a flesh decision because life was too hard right now. I didn't know what I could do. And then I immediately said, ah, I got to give this a higher power. Sometimes we need to do that. I got on my knees. I said my prayer. I apologized for breaking everything in my house. Not how you should handle things. I looked in the mirror, and in the mirror, as I'm washing my face, I'm looking, and have you, have you guys ever done this when you see yourself cry in the mirror and you start crying more? You, you feel bad for the fucking guy in the mirror. So I'm sitting there like a dickhead crying in the mirror, holding my own hand, and I'm like, what do we gotta do? And I'm praying, and I'm like, God, what do I do? I'm mad and I'm getting sad and I go, I'm giving all of my anxiety to you. I'm giving all of my depression. What do you want me to do? I will work for this. I am tired for this. I'm scared for this, but I will do it. In my heart of heart, I looked in the mirror and I go, go to the gym. It's 1130 at night. I said, go to the gym. I go to the gym. I'm working out. There's only one other person in my sight and it's Logan Paul. Not only did God give me a, a way into this industry during my lowest moment, but he gave me a best friend, what I needed. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people don't want to turn to God. They're too scared. They don't think he exists. But I'm telling you, 100 shots out of 100 every time I gave it to, to my Lord, and I worked for it. It comes both ways. A lot of people read Bible verses, and they read it, and they just take it in a way that they don't grasp. And I don't mean to get biblical on you guys, but like... Read, read a passage in the Bible. Never once does Jesus just show up at your house to give you your blessing. Never. He waits for you to come to him. So what I'm saying is if you're out there and you believe in God or you believe in any type of higher power, I, I tend to go towards Christ. That's, that's my go-to. And my thing is, bro, don't give up. Work as hard as you can and throw it at his feet and see what can happen. And a lot of people here are going to disagree with me. I know that for a fact. But I'm telling you, you got to try it before you take it out. George, I love this. I yeah, love all great. of that. Yeah. Like, like being your friend for the past six years, I've witnessed what you just described. You constantly come out on top. You're uh, reaching the next level day after day after day. My question to you is this. For the religious people who haven't had that type of path, and it's not always been success, success, win, 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 win. Because a lot of people are really religious. A lot of people do turn to Christ and they haven't had their breakthrough yet. I'll, or even, I'll even, explain even it. like Easy. a minor little win or whatever they're looking for. So so what I, is it? I got really quick at learning. I, I didn't, I observe a lot. I think a lot of people here could realize this about me. When I see something, I figure it out. I learn from other people's mistakes. So when I realize my relationship with God is a relationship, it's built on a relationship. So a lot of people... Base is there. Oh, well, Jesus is not there for me on this situation. Hmm. Okay, well, if me and my girlfriend are having good times, but once I'm okay and I'm good and I walk away from her because I'm good. But then when times get rough, I come back to her. She's like, yo, I'll help you. But, you know, it would have been a lot better for us if we're right here. All I'm saying is this. A relationship with God is like a Wi-Fi router. If I'm next to the router, I'm going to get my information quick and my service is right here and I have a great relationship and it's chilling. But if I keep walking away into the backyard, into the neighbor's yard and my connection with him is off, it's going to be off. So George, do you think a lot of your blessings have come from you Every being single in, one. in the, it, going in the direction that you're feeling called to go? I mean, you said you literally give up everything to be an entertainer in Hollywood, yes. right? So yeah. you took a major chance. Yes, you had financial support, but you've taken a chance to do what your heart has called you to do. I'll tell you why. And like, again, this all has to go off, off of me and my relationship with Christ. I could be in this industry. When I first came to LA, mm -hmm. I had one prayer. The first prayer that I had at my in, in, in bed, I said, God, if this takes me one inch away from you, I want it miles away from me. I don't want to even be near it. I don't want it in a, in a, in a conversation. My Christ my Lord goes with me in every room, in every relationship. Because here's the thing. Even if you don't believe in God, look who I am as a human being. I guarantee if any of you guys needed a shot into, I need somebody right now to get something done, I guarantee you guys are making a call well, to if me. I needed sure, somebody, sure. If I needed somebody to lie so that my girlfriend didn't catch me out on like a cheating thing, I would hit you immediately. Bro. You're like one of the best liars I've ever seen in my life, bro. <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, I hate lying. And that's why it put me in a really, I, I'm just fucking with It you. put me in a tight spot. Why are you not a preacher? Right now. Because right now, I, I, I had this conversation. I figured this out. I am built differently. You could put um, billions of dollars in front of me and I won't turn away from Christ. You could put fame in front of me. I won't turn away from Christ. What I, what I know is that there's a lot of people in my life that are getting baptized as we speak. 
and knowing who Christ is as we speak because people in the industry don't know how to talk about God. Ah. They don't know who God is. I think God built me for so this you're industry. So you cross over. I'm crossing over. Yeah. And you get, guys, it, it, I, I have my own battles too. I'm not perfect. Nowhere near it. There's so many times where I'm looking at my own content. I'm like, yo, I should stop swearing. The same tongue that I'm talking about Jesus, I'm saying, oh, fucking titties and blah, blah, blah. Like it, it's a mental battle for me. But I know for a fact that every time I put my faith into him, he comes out on top. I ain't perfect. And, and like everybody here, no, dude, I'm not the most talented in the room. I get in rooms that I should even be a part of. Look at my relationship with you. I almost left. The devil wanted me to leave. If I'm going to leave this with a topic of conversation, I'm going to leave you guys with this one line. The devil is never, ever going to be strong enough to steal the blessing that God installed in you when you were born. But he's strong enough to blind you from where it could take you. So you could believe in yourself and know that you have what it takes. But if you listen to the devil, which is only full of lies to tell you, you can't do this and you're not good enough. You're fat. Your parents can't help you. You're going to be like your mom. You're going to be a drug addict. You can't get out of being out of drug addict. If you listen to the devil, you're going to be in chains your whole entire life. But you got to believe that if you're made in his image and you really believe that Christ could do it all. Guys, I'm in LA and I live like a child. I'm 27 years old. I have a beautiful girlfriend, family that loves me, friends that always be there for me. I'm in Sin City. I should be doing drugs off of hookers' ass. <laughs> and I choose not to and I'm happier. I wake up every single day knowing that this day is going to be just as great as the last because I put my Lord first. Don't listen to the devil at all. Don't. He's a liar. You're worth it. You're strong. Just listen to what your body could do and you could do it.